all right we're going to configure the interfaces now on the router itself r1 and if i was to double click on my router the way how i set up my router which it would not have been set up with you all i don't have access to the WYSIWYG of my router i have actually disabled that that um, component so i would definitely have to use a console um cable to console into my router in order for me to you know to perform some functions on this particular router i know for those who have configured your devices and so on you all have gotten the act the actual part of the busy way to do some work with it but essentially for the cisco exam you would not have access to that at all so i'm going to double click my pc and i'm going to go to to hyper terminal because i'm going to be using this console cable to console into my router right as you can see my router is booting up right so i press enter and i am now faced with my line console zero router interface and what you have learned from the beginning is that to get into privilege exec mode we type the command enable and you can follow through with the solution that i've given to you all on the text file because we're going to configure this router here and configure interfaces on these routers in fact what we're going to do is to look at these configuration tasks because <coughs> these configuration tasks is on a router one switch one and switch two but we're going to be only concerned with the router one r1 in this case so again we'll have to move to global configuration mode which is conf to configuration terminal right to to set up <coughs> to to follow these two the the these tasks and the first task the access to is to change the host name of the router and if you can remember how to change the host name we type host name r1 all right and this takes care of the first task and as we in configuration terminal we could probably move down to the banner of the day message which is number seven so I'm going to configure the banner of the day message banner message of the day all right and it's saying no unauthorized access I'm going to type that no in a parentheses access allowed Alright, I'm going to press enter. Alright, and uh, the ask for in task 2 um, a minimum password length of 10 characters. Alright, so we're going to type a command security. and i would press question mark to see what other options i have here so i'm going to type security password all right and i'll probably type a next question mark to see what other options i have so and i say a minimum length so i'm seeing min length min length i'll just press tab 10 all right because it says 10 <coughs> A minimum length of 10 car um, characters all right so I'll press enter there all right and um, as I'm also in configuration terminal I could probably set up a user account right using the logon local database and I will set this user account to admin and I will put a password call Andre Kadugan because of the fact that I set up a minimum password length as 10 uh, so I'm going to explain this a little further for you all as I, as, I, as I go through the course here so I'm in configuration terminal I'm going to set up um, a, a username and one of the reasons why I'm, I'm going to put in a username because when we did line console 0 when we did our um, the routing exercise we just put a, a, a password just for um, the enter of the router but we could set up usernames and so on uh, so people could use the usernames to come into the um you know to get into the router itself now 
so people could have different usernames and so on to, um, to access the router i should say now just like if you're logging on to a windows nt server system or something like that so i'm going to go username right and my username is uh, i set it as what admin the account so i'm going to use that account called ad admin and i'm going to enable a encrypted password so that password will be secret secret and i'm going to put my name Andrew Kudogan. and we'll see how this would work while we um while we go through the 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 course <coughs> as we configure this um this package trace activity here right username admin yes and my secret password is Andrew Kudogan. now i want to enable people to log on on this particular line right so i'm going to go to line console right zero taking care of number four line console right console line and there's only one line console that i have which started zero right and now i'm in line console and i'm going to go to login but I've, because of the fact that i created a username i want to be able to log on local so if i type question mark here you would see you know because the fact is that is a local um password that exists in the local database now in itself now so i'm going to go log on local instead of just using the log on command that i use when i was configuring line console if you all remember now right so I'll go to log on local right so that takes care of um of that i'm going to exit first right <coughs> right exit come out of um line console i've taken care of that let me see the other um, thing uh number five enable enable password class uh, one two three four five and it's encrypted right so we'll have to enable this password so i'm going to go to enable secret and that secret will be class one two three four five um let me just take off that five and see because it says minimum of 10 characters right so let me just take it off and see what it will tell me here now and press enter right you see password is too short must be at least 10 characters all right so let's go up arrow and let's add the number five because remember that is what we configured initially now on on the router all right so we taking care of that one there as well um password encryption on all lines remember we talk about the password encryption when we did the routing exercise on online that command if you look back at some of the videos that i have did would be service password encryption you remember that so i'll be service and i'm going to press uh tab pass i'm going to press tab again encryption so by me um typing this will enable password on all lines the vty lines console line and so on or the service level passwords now the the encrypted form too as well all right what's the other one that we have to do now set up a domain name right because we did the message of the day already the banner of the day so we're going to set up a domain name all right and that domain name would be what specify here so i'm going to see if i can remember how to do this i'm going to type um domain which is an ip address is an ip domain right ip domain right um dash n so that's put right i get it the ip domain name right and i'm going to type a question mark to see what else right i could have a domain name by default right so i can put my name now ip domain name right and i'll type the name andre kudogan i think that's what i put there right as my domain name dot com because of course it's ip domain in terms of mapping ip addresses against nest by um against um ip addresses against um um dns names now net bias names i should say or oh, um, host names my bad right so we have set up that um um domain name dot com so you press that andrew kadogan uh what else that access to do to enable ssh version 2 right that is a, a show encryption mechanism ssh um if i can remember that that would be ip 
I mean, I do have the text file in me, so y'all could look at it. SSH and I'm gonna type a question mark, right? Okay, my bad. SSH and I'm gonna type a question mark here, right? So they're telling me um, some options here, and they say version two, because it's version two that they want to um, enable. So I'll type IP SSH and you see the version here. So I'll type version number two, right? Cool. So far, so good. And now they're asking us so RSA um, encryption keys, which we know is a 1024 that they ask for security keys modulus. So we're going to type um, this command to in to 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 enable RSA. And for those who don't know about RSA, you know you would have learned that in the security course with uh, Mr. Cameron, All right? So my command would be crypto key. Crypto. You could take a look at um the text file crypto key and I need some help here in terms of how I was going to set it up to generate it so I'm going to type my my question mark again to see what else I will do so it's crypto key and I have generate and I have zero size right so I would use crypto key and I will generate RSC I'm going to use the, the option RSA. So crypto, crypto key generate. Right? And I will type RSA. And by the time I press enter, it should give me. Right? Right? The, the modulus, which is 1024. So I'm going to type 1024. Right? Press enter. Right? And I have taken care of my security keys. Uh, on this line here, RSC. Right, so far so good. Um, hmm. Let me just type that IP SSH one more time. Right, just to make sure that you know that's going up arrow here, but I'm not seeing it here. Right, IP SSH version two. I just want to redo that because of the fact that I am um, I enable RSC crypto key. So I'm gonna just type that just to make sure. I'm gonna press enter again all right and the next thing that we have to do now is to enable passwords on VTY line 0 to 4 to 15 all right and um, configure um, IP version R1 and so on all right so to do this and I just need to watch how long my tutorial is I was going to check on it, 12 minutes, so what I'm going to pause this lesson here, in fact stop it, and then I'm going to do the, I'm going to continue with our next video.